Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is our update for Monday, October 28th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in just a moment, but not just that. We've got a whole lot to talk about uh, for this upcoming week. I'm going to give you those opening line movers in college football Sunday and into Monday, uh, the lines that have moved the most in college football. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happened last week if you did what we said last Sunday. So all that coming up plus the free pick. Before I get to that, just a couple of days left with that big discounted price rest of the football season, which includes both college football and the NFL for 33% off. 33% off the regular price, and it's only good, only available for a couple of more days before it goes back to the regular price. So go to DocSports.com, click on my homepage, you click on the package, it'll ask you for a code word, that code word, FBSEASON33. It's all one word, FBSEASON33. Last Monday, we sat here as we kicked off our new week of videos, and we talked about how we had a bad Saturday in college football. We don't got to do that this week because it came right back with a huge week in both college football and the NFL. If you include the 2-0 weekend sweep with our free picks right here on the videos in football, we went 9-1, 90% with our football package Thursday through Sunday. That included the 7-unit blowout winner on Saturday with Air Force, the 6-unit winner on Sunday with the Denver Broncos. We've still got one more play to go. It is the Monday night football game. Don't miss out because the side will finish up our uh, weekly weekend football package. And when you combine the free and the premium will look to make it 10 and 1 with this week's football package. It'll be 8 and 1 with premium picks, 2 and 0 with the free video picks in football, so don't miss out. And by the way, uh, we've told you last week we did have the bad Saturday, but over the long haul, we've just been tearing it up college football in the NFL 171 and one, or 172 and 127 in college football, 74 and 50 now in the NFL. So we're hitting between 57 and 60% in those two sports, college football and the NFL. Uh, going back several seasons now long term. Every once in a while you have that bad week and then you try to come right back and well, we, we got it done and we appreciate those who stuck with us throughout the weekend uh, after last Saturday, last week and of course we do appreciate those who are new and have jumped on board but uh, got a real good chance here now to make it 10 and 1 uh, with our Monday night football game. We get the win, we'll be 10 and 1 with free picks and premium picks in football this week. Also wanted to mention a couple of other things besides the Monday night football pick which is available right now. You can go grab it over at DocSports.com. I've also got my biggest play so far in the NBA this season, a six-unit play, a six-unit side on Monday's card. Now, we are 80% this season in the NBA, and going back to last year and including our first few plays of this season, we are on a 48-28 and 28 winning run in the NBA. I've got a six-unit play going on Monday in the NBA. It's a side, and uh, we'll look to extend uh, this season's record to 83% winners and look to go to 49 and 28 going back to last year's NBA. So grab that at DocSports.com, the six-unit play Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific is when that play will be available. NHL, we're going to pass on Monday, just two games, don't like either one, on a red-hot run to start the NHL, as you all know, and, and going, again, we talked about this uh, early season NHL. I like going against those numbers, and we've had a tremendous run last year, October, November, plus this year so far, uh, we're 38 and 19 with our NHL pick. So again, get a pass on Monday in the NHL, but we've got the six unit play in the NBA. We've got Monday night football, so you can go grab that. No baseball until Tuesday. Man, it was a drag yesterday because Houston clocked Washington again, seven to one. We had a play on Houston. Unfortunately, it was a no play because 99% of the time, unless I unless I say differently. Uh, I do name pitchers, and we did. And, of course, Scherzer got scratched, so that kind of blows that game, and we get our money back instead of winning with Houston. But it'll go back to Houston with the Astros up three games to two, and we'll talk a little bit more about that on Tuesday's video. Let's get to the college football moves uh, that have taken place Sunday, Sunday night, and into Monday as I cut this video. By the way, what I was going to tell you is last week, on Monday's video, I mentioned you might want to start playing back towards the books numbers uh, with some of these college football moves, you know, because they were moving two points and more. Last week, if you would have played back towards the original number, which means if you played against where the money came in on those plays I gave you, those sides that moved two points or more, you would have gotten six and one against the spread with those plays. So keep that in mind. We'll see if it happens again here. But uh, first up on Saturday, the first big mover is Liberty. Liberty at UMass. You'll remember last week, Liberty was a, a big play right out of the blocks. 
and they went from a four point favorite to a seven point favorite at Rutgers. Liberty lost the game outright, so that was one of those plays where if you would have gone back towards the original number and played Rutgers, you would have cashed. So anyway, Liberty's at UMass. Liberty opened 24. They're down to 21 and a half. So that early money coming in and moving on UMass on the Minutemen. Uh, Northern Illinois is at Central Michigan. Northern Illinois opened up a one-point favorite. Northern Illinois is now a one-point road dog. Now, if you're following that a little bit or just jotting it down, doing it for fun, making bets, whatever, uh, they're actually betting on Central Michigan here. Northern Illinois, again, opens a one-point favorite, now a one-point dog. Uh, biggest outdoor cocktail party in the world takes place this week in Jacksonville with Georgia taking on Florida. The Georgia Bulldogs opened six and a half. Uh, the money's come in on the Florida Gators. The line has moved, and the Florida Gators are now not a six and a half point dog. They are a four point dog in their rivalry game with the Georgia Bulldogs. And only one more game to report on as far as big movement is concerned. And I'm talking about movement of two points or more. And that's in the Mountain West, Fresno State at Hawaii. Um, this game opened Pickham. Hawaii now a three-point favorite. So you can kind of jot those down, see where they move throughout the week, and also look on Monday to see which games have moved off those opening numbers. We'll see if they fare as well going against those moves as they did this past week. All right, again, before I get to the free pick, real quick note, uh, don't forget to uh, go over to DocSports.com if you've yet to get the Monday Night Football play. It's available right now. Nine and one free and premium weekend we just had in college and pro football Thursday through Sunday. Let's, let's wrap it up with a big win on Monday. That play is available. My six-unit play in the NBA will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, anytime after that up until tip-off on Monday. So go grab that also. All right, let's look to our free play. We're also going to look at the NBA. We're playing a total. We're going to play under 223 between the Cavaliers and the Milwaukee Bucks. Listen, I know Milwaukee is going to want to push this tempo and get the ball up and down the court and, and do what they do, which is being able to score some points uh, coming off an overtime loss. I know in regulation, the first couple of games, they've scored 121 in regulation and 117. But I think with what happened the other night, with the fact they gave up so many buckets to the Miami Heat in that overtime loss, that you're going to see a concerted effort also on the defensive end from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And as far as Cleveland's concerned, they're not shooting well. 43.5% uh, from the field. They are 30.8% from the three-point line. So uh, one of the bottom third shooting teams so far early on in the NBA. They can't even hit free throws. They're hitting 65% of their free throws on the season. And I know this has been an over-series over the years. But again, you were talking about LeBron James being part of the mix for most of those games. And again, uh, with the numbers sitting at 223, uh, we like this game to stay under so our free video pick for Monday in the NBA, under between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Milwaukee Bucks. As I cut this video, that total sitting at 223. All right, don't forget about all the picks going on over at DocSports.com as we look to stay red hot on Monday. And again, free pick under Cleveland, Milwaukee, NBA. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritz for DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column. We're right back here Tuesday with our NFL recap report and a free pick from Tuesday. Today's card. We'll talk to you then.